In the fall of 1959, rather than follow the court-ordered desegregation of county schools, the Board of Supervisors for Prince Edward County chose to end all funding for the public school system, resulting in the public schools being closed for four years. In Gallery 5, they closed their schools. You will learn about the choices students and families made when faced with this school closure. My expectations had been for the fall coming that the situation would be resolved and we would all wind up going back to school. But the realization was come uh, Labor Day that was not going to happen. And so um, I didn't know what to expect. I had no idea what I was going to do. A friend of mine came by the house and said, how come you're not in school? And I said, excuse me? <laughs> Uh, schools closed. We don't have any school. And she went on to explain to me that there was a college in North Carolina operated by the African Methodist Episcopal Church that had opened a special high school department for Prince Edward County kids. Next day, Sunday, my parents packed me up in the car and off to Kittrell, North Carolina, we went. Just as students and families had to decide which path to take, you will be able to follow three paths through this part of the exhibit. The Academy Path explores the establishment of the first countywide private school system in the nation. The No School Path takes a look inside the training centers that were used in lieu of public schools to provide some level of education to county students. And the New School Path which tracks the choices many county families made to either send their children away to school or relocate their entire family in order to secure a public education for their children. As you finish exploring these student paths, you will come to the Experience Wall, a dynamic and changing wall of video screens presenting interviews with students affected by the school closings. While local and downtown protests in Farmville are echoing events on the national stage, you will learn about how the Kennedy administration sets into motion the creation of the free schools as a way to resolve the problem in Prince Edward County. You exit the gallery drawn towards a large photo mural of Prince Edward County students participating in the March on Washington in 1963 petitioning for their rights, petitioning for their grievances, and petitioning for the reopening of Prince Edward County Schools.